Hi, welcome back to Mike Makes It. We've had a bit of a move around, pushed the 100 e from where it used to live, which was over the pit, and I've been able to fully complete the upgrade of low energy light bulbs in the garage. I've got a few of these luminaires knocking about. There's typically three that I use in this part of the garage. Fourth there when I'm working over the bench, and here you can see two more. Now, I couldn't replace the two in this uh, luminaire because the car was in the way. Now it's moved, terrific. I've got LEDs all the way around. Now, you can use a normal on off switch, which I have been using, um, but I found I used to leave the garage lights on and wouldn't realize for a couple hours so I'm wasting electricity. So a few years ago, I fitted a PIR switch, a 360 degree PIR in the lighting circuit. So when I walked in the garage, the lights should come on and that's great it's been like that for years worked fine no problem the contacts don't wear out in a solid state relay because of the fact it uses a triac and there's a couple here on the bench solid state relays these are just scrap ones took out of old machines um, but obviously you can recycle them reuse them this is the kind of thing it's been replacing uh, these are very handy at, at their uses of course and some some of these have multi-contacts whereas a solid state relay doesn't. It's normally typically normally one pair of normally open circuits. So uh, basically ideal for what I want it for, but wouldn't replace that directly unless you have multiple ones of them. And even then you'd have a problem. But yeah, put, put one of them in three years, if not longer ago, to be fair. And everything's been hunky dory. Everything worked, the light switches on and off just as it should do. But now I swap these out. So the whole circuit is on low power LEDs. What I noticed when the uh, PIR switched off, you could be outside of the garage and look in and these lights would be blipping. You, they go poof, doof, like this, uh, pulsing. I thought, oh, what's, what's going on there? Well, I looked into it a little bit and with a solid state relay, it's not a true off when you switch it off. There's a certain leakage current allowed on them. It's within the tolerance, they're not faulty, but if you're going to put it on your lights in the garage and you're going to power up fluorescent tubes, the non-LED type, be aware that, for instance, this one, the Opto, Opto 22, is rated at a 14 milliamp leakage current. Now, if I got a lash up going up here, as you can see, we switch it on at the wall, and you just saw it flash there, but we over here. 9 volt battery, on we go, off, back on, fine, so that's how the passive infrared switch would work, but you see it flashing now, that's turned off, this is the input side to it, this other one, there you go, no, not connected at all, but because of the leakage current, the voltage actually builds up in the power supply on the LED tube. And when it gets to a certain level, it'll trigger the power supply and illuminate the LEDs. But because there's no constant power there, you'll only get a brief flash. Then the cycle repeats. Uh, capacitors charge up, power supply comes on, flash. Capacitors charge up, flash, etc., etc. But I've calculated, and on a watt meter I can confirm that, I was burning 10 watts in the garage when all the lights are off. You times that by three years, that's, that's a lot of tea. So uh, just be aware, if you're going to use a solid state relay, and you know, fully recommend them, they're, they're very, very good, be aware there is a leakage current, and you're going to be wasting power unnecessarily. Uh, in some cases, it wouldn't necessarily matter if you switch it off the mains, ultimately. Um, I didn't because of the, the, the way the switches work. Um, I w wanted to walk in the garage and the lights would come on straight away. But yeah, leaky solid state relays, be aware of that. The one I've replaced it with, and this is what I have done, I've still stuck with a solid state relay relay in the uh, PIR, but I've gone for a Siemens brand, and that was rated at 0.3 of a milliamp leakage, not 14 milliamps for this. So yeah, solid state relay warning. If you're not aware, please be aware, check the spec out, don't waste your electricity like I've been for three or four years. And I hope you found that interesting. It certainly was an eye-opener for me. But thanks for watching.